nombre no. es es Aye. Hi, I'm Rachel from Seven and All, and today I'm going to be showing you my morning binder or learning binder for preschool for my toddler. All right. Now, just before I get into showing this to you, first um, I'm going to talk about it. Then I'm going to show you the binder, and then I'll actually show you some footage of me using this with my toddler. So we can show kind of all the different elements that are going on here. First, I'm going to say that this morning binder is way simpler than a lot that you'll see in other YouTube videos because I purposely, it's not an interactive binder. We have puzzles and we have games that we do in our preschool time. What I really wanted from a binder was just something that we could kind of go through quickly, spend a little bit of time on every morning and just practice talking. Um, my son has not been a very fast or very chatty kind of person. I like to say he takes after his dad. He's just not a huge chatty type. And we are trying to do two languages in our family. So I wanted a little bit of extra practice on just kind of saying something and repeating it. I'm working on oral memory skills, oral identification skills, and even some of our songs that I'd like him to learn or poems or different memory work. So this binder is all just something that we sit through and um, I say something and he practices repeating after me or I ask him questions and he can try to identify orally um, the different things on the page. So it's really simple. He is two and a half years old right now. So I'm not including, I'm purposefully not including a whole bunch of topics in this right now because I just wanted to zero in and focus in on some of the really basic vocabulary that I want him to be building right now. And once he has these covered, um, later on we can go into more and I can be adding in more pages and different things as we go. But I just really wanted to start with the basics. This is bilingual, so you'll notice that maybe some things we do more in Spanish, some things we do more in English because that's, that's how our family rolls. I'm wanting him to build the vocabulary in both languages. And um, so yeah, there's no moving parts to this. It's not meant to be for me a puzzle or a game. It's just a little bit of time for us to sit down, talk together, have him repeat some memory phrases that I'm getting him to learn and sing, sing some songs. So I'll show you what it's like. All right, so this is it, the big reveal. I am definitely revealing something about my own personality here. This is no big binder. It's really just a little cheap folder um, that has the two prongs in it so that you can put pages in that we got from the grocery store and then I put in page protectors and pages and um, maybe this is just a little quirk about me but if it comes to if I want a certain page that says something and I have to go and search it down and download and print a printable or I can just write it out on a piece of paper with some pens or markers I'm probably gonna choose just writing it out myself um, every single time because printables, they, I don't know. Like, I do have printables in here. I do have some um, because I already had them on hand or I had stumbled across them and I liked that printable, so I'm using it. But if I, I more have just an idea, hey, I want a name page or I want the days of the week in Spanish, I'm probably not gonna spend all my time searching for a cute printable, I'll just literally just write it on a piece of paper because it's faster. So that's just to inspire you. Hey, you don't always have to print everything. You can also just write it. This was with fancy, no, Crayola mini markers. You know, the little small kind. I have a whole set of colorful ones. Those are fun. So this is our first page that we start every day with. Mi nombre es, and you get no glare here. So we're starting, um, with Spanish for this first page. We started our day in Spanish. I didn't write in his name yet because I knew I wanted to make this video. We've only used this binder maybe three or four times so far. Um, so, and I, I'm trying to get him to learn his first, middle, and last name. So we start with mi nombre es, and he says his three names. Then tengo dos años. Practice um, putting up both fingers. Hoy es, and I tell him the day of the week, and then he will say it after me, repeating that. Then we go to our abecedario, which I'm actually not um, teaching him the ABCs in Spanish at this point. Um, 
I am just using a Letter Sounds song, which is actually the very old Sing, Spell, Read and Write Letter Sounds song from that curriculum, mainly just because I've had it memorized for 20 plus years. So it's the easiest one for me to go to, and we do um, have some of that books and curriculum that I may be using eventually with him. Um, but my mom tends to recommend don't bother teaching the uh, alphabet names so much or don't spend so much time on alphabet names as much as letter sounds. And that was just from her experience with one of my siblings who really struggled with learning letter sounds at the beginning. She felt that learning letter names was too confusing for her and not all kids struggle with it. But mom's just like emphasize the sounds more than the names because we use the sounds quite a bit in learning to read. So that's what we've been doing is our ABC song. We'll sing it or maybe I'll try to have him point to a letter or so. We'll talk about different letters just for a minute or two there. Then I do have an actual printable here printed in color too. Wow, Rachel, you're going all out. The Mrs. Del Año. And mostly we just, we might go through and say all the names or we might just point to, okay, right now we're in Octubre. Ahora es Octubre. Este mes es Octubre. Practice a few little phrases and sentences there. Then I do have also another in color printable. You can tell I'm um, getting fancy here. Um, las formas, the shapes. The, uh, both of these printables were from Green Urban Mama or Green Urban Creative. Uh, they have several different kind of printables that are actually available in Spanish, which is nice, or bilingual. Um, so I do not really know the names of the shapes in Spanish, although I'm learning them. And they are very similar, just the pronunciation or the accents uh, might be a little tricky to get the hang of. So we, this is a lot of shapes for him. He really only knows oval, circle, triangle, star, heart, maybe square so far. Um, but we're learning these, trying to practice a few shapes, repeat after me type of things or find them. Then we have our numbers, which he really likes numbers. He's not totally solid on his zero through 10 identification yet. So this is just point and count. We are typically doing the numbers in English just cause that's a little bit stronger for him. He kind of took two numbers on his own accord with like randomly counting things uh, or counting one, two, three, go when he wants to race. So we're solidifying the numbers a bit more in English, but I do try to have him count like when he's doing a race, uno, dos, tres, you know, uh, or things like that. So we are slowly trying to incorporate Spanish numbers as well. Colors, he does not know his colors, um, hardly at all. Uh, so, we're working on the colors in Spanish here. And again, this I just scribbled this with um, my Crayola markers. You don't always have to have a fancy printable, but sometimes they're fun. So these are our two memory cards that we're working on right now. I just recently decided that he was ready to start uh, using the Gentle and Classical Preschool which I can link that program um, down below. And these are some of the memory cards that go with it. I didn't get all the memory cards. I just got the Bible verse ones and the science ones because I thought those were the ones that would probably need the most like card type of review or practice on the memory statements. So then we go over both of these memory statements and um, like later in the day or during the rest of our day, I might have some frogs books that we'll read like to go with this unit. I did have my husband bring home a bunch of frogs books from his library. So we do have those books to go with it. But during this time, it's just kind of practicing the word, practicing tadpoles, turn into frogs. And I am the good shepherd. And we're doing both of these in English. Um, I'm the good shepherd and I have to say John 10, 11. He's doing pretty good at the Bible verse. Um, shepherd it probably doesn't sound so much like shepherd to anyone besides me, but I can tell he's saying shepherd. You know, he's, he's two. His pronunciation is not perfect yet. But then this is the best page in the book, according to him. And that's why it is the last page. So we get through all of our little, little books, which this is, this is very fast. We just go through and spend 
a minute or two, depending on the page, identifying some things, practicing repeat after me, or sometimes even if he identifies something in English, if he identifies circle, I can say, oh, también se dice círculo, di círculo. Okay, then he'll say that. We'll do our little cards, practice these once or twice. Then we get to let's sing. He loves his songs. So I just wrote down down here a couple of the different places we get our songs. Um, we sing super simple Spanish, songs for saplings, listener kids. These are either albums or just YouTube channels. Uh, with um, Bible songs, uh, these are catechism songs, Spanish songs. So his favorite right now is Un Pequeño Dedo from sim Super Simple Spanish. So he almost always wants to sing that one right away after, um, when we get to the end and he's super excited for that. So that motivates him to have the page that he loves come at the end. Uh, and we, he likes that a lot. Uh, for the songs for saplings, because the catechism questions are interwoven into the gentle and classical preschool, I do definitely prioritize us listening to these songs every day. And I recently discovered that they have their first question and answers album in Spanish available as well. So these, a lot of times, I'll just, not necessarily during schoolwork time, but I'll turn on um, the album and just let it play and, while I'm doing housework for like half an hour or so in the morning and while the boys are playing. And I, would, I will sing along to them because I think kids always learn songs better when there's real humans singing along too. I think they're able to hear it better. So I'll sing along while I'm just going back and forth across the house, doing laundry, putting stuff away, washing dishes and all that. Uh, so we do get those. We always get our songs for saplings in during the day. But af at the end of this, we'll listen to a couple songs, dance around, do the motions, un pequeño dedo, point to everything. And that is my very simple learning binder for right now. You can tell I have a couple of, I just went ahead and put in a couple of extra page protectors in the back because I'm assuming as he's getting a little older and as he's mastering this stuff, I'll add some more. And when you see us do this together, he's definitely not going to have this perfect this is not stuff that he knows. The reason it's in this binder is because I want him to learn these words. I want him to be able to identify these things. I want to build vocabulary right now and build the verbal practice of these little phrases that we're memorizing. Um, that's why it's in here. And once he is very confident with months of the year or shapes or colors or different things, we'll take it out or we'll add to it and we'll, we'll up the challenge a little bit. So that is my Preschool morning binder for a two-year-old, and next you'll get to see us. Is Tengo dos años. Dos. 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 Hoy es sábado. 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 Muy bien. ¿Dónde está el a? A. 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 What is that one? A uh, apple. No, this one's a uh, uh, apple. A uh, apple. That one's a uh, uh, apple. Let's sing it. A a apple, 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 cat, and da da da. It was fun, and now we're free. Yay! Okay, Mrs. Mrs. Mm, ahora es octubre. Octubre. Okay. Enero. Enero. Febrero. Enero. Marzo. Uh, abril. Abril. Mayo. Uh, junio. Uh, julio. Uh, Agosto. Okay. Okay. ¿Dónde está el óvalo? Mm, óvalo. 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 Sí. What's that? Okay. Duh. Star, la estrella. What's that one? Yeah. Square. <laughs> okay, numeros. We'll do in English. Zero. Zero. One. Nine. Two. Three. Four. Five. Eight. Mm, that's six. Six. Seven. Seven. This one? Yes, we'll get, to, we'll get to do songs, but we gotta do the colors first. 
colors. Rojo, azul. You gotta say it. No, you have to say it. Rojo, rojo, azul, azul, morado, morado, verde, verde, anaranjado, uh, amarillo, rojo, rojo, amarillo. Okay, then we do. Yes, we get to do our song. Just a minute. We gotta do our two cards first. This is the Bible verse. It's from the Bible. I, I am the best. good best. Okay. Shepherd. Shepherd, yeah. <laughs> you have your mouth full of orange. John. John. 10. 10. 11. Wait. I am the good shepherd. Yes. Yeah? I am the good shepherd. John 10, 11. Okay, your turn. Good shepherd. Good shepherd. Yeah, we say, I am the good shepherd. John 10, 11. Good. Okay, now this one. Tadpoles turn into frogs. Very good. So that's a tadpole. That's a frog. That's the baby frog. It's a tadpole. So you gotta say it. Tadpoles. Tadpoles. Turn. Turn. Into. Frog. Frogs. Very good. And then what do we do at the end? Jesus. We get to sing songs. Dedo, dedo. Uh -huh. Un pequeño dedo. Okay, we'll sing now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video inspired you if you're thinking about making your own preschool morning binder. And I definitely would love to see a binder if you have one. So you could sh um, share a photo on Instagram and let me see it. I'm at, at seven in all family. Or you can just tell me in the comments, like what, what do you do? What's your kind of memory work or oral verbal practice routine with your toddler or preschooler? All right, thanks for watching. Bye.